This is a 10 gallon bio orb tank. I have approximately 12 neon tetra, five harlequin rasboras, beautiful in my opinion, uh, male beta, he rolls his tank, let's see where he went. These curves tanks make it easy to lose a fish. I also have a yo-yo loach, which you can see down in there. And there are two butterfly loaches in here, or hill stream loaches. This tank is kind of a love-hate tank. It is beautiful when I get it cleaned up, but it does get dirty very easy. And since I've done research on it, I've heard these tanks referred to as death tanks. The water gets brown very easily, very quickly. I have to do constant water changes like every two to three days just to keep the water decent. As you can see, it's dark here, which I also have a log or a stick, as you can see right there. Uh, so that adds tannins to the water. It does, it, it gets dirty quite easily. I don't know about the sponge filter if I like it. I love the idea of it, but if you can see, let's see. It gets nice and dirty quickly. I cleaned it yesterday and it's already a beautiful color. I'm also not sure about the substrate that BioOrb suggests with these tanks. It's really porous, so therefore has a lot of surface area to hold bacteria, which is great uh, as far as holding bacteria. Uh, it sucks, absolutely sucks to gravel vac. Uh, the gravel vac I have for this, or the siphon hose I have for this, is the perfect size for these little rocks to get stuck in. So, you'd think after a few years of owning a tank that it wouldn't, I'd get used to it. Don't. So they get stuck in there and I wonder why the siphon's not working and turns out there's a rock that I have to surgically remove. Other than those pain in the asses, I enjoy this tank. I love that it is a, what I would call a micro tank, a mini tank love my fish uh, some people might say it's a little overstocked and it it might be um, and that might be a big reason why I have trouble with uh, keeping it clean as well this it's I did a water change yesterday and it's already like I said it's already going brown but uh, I cleaned it did a deep clean on it maybe a week ago two weeks ago and this is the state it's in. Uh, so I'm reasonably happy. I think bio load compared to tank size, it does okay. And everybody is healthy and happy. And I love that they go in their little individual schools. As you can see the, uh, the rasboras doing over there and my neons over here. Just a little side note, yo-yo loach. I've always assumed loaches are peaceful, friendly little boogers. This guy is not, they eat snails. Uh, I was gonna say, I did have one snail in here, but I can see it. I don't know if you see it right there. Pretty sure it's empty. Uh, I need to pull that guy out and see if he's dead or if my yo-yo loach ate him. He has eaten one snail before and then hadn't messed with this one for months and I guess he decided he was hungry again. Uh, so that kind of sucks. I was excited to have some snails. But there you have it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the link. Uh, if I made any mistakes, please let me know. Otherwise, this is Meet the Cichlids, and I'll catch you later.